Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Ico. This is Camo Wolf 55. We are taking a snooze on the couch again. Time to get up, Ico. Time to get up. Get up and get at him. No rest for the wicked. Anyway, if you guys remember last time, uh, we made our way to this little spiral y thing, Majigger. So I'm going to start off by just pulling this level or lever here so I don't forget later. Uh, that basically just opens up that bridge right there. Uh, it's just a shortcut back to that room we were in before. Uh, so basically, so if I ever want to go back there, I don't have to take that crane again. Okay, well, let's go through here. See what awaits on the other side. Okay, so now we're in a big, dark, scary-looking room. Looks pretty worn down. Lots of candles. Uh, let's see what else. It's like a banquet hall or something. Big chandelier kind of thing over here. Lots of boarded up spooky windows. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's see what's, uh. See if we can. Oh, God, you're stuck, I go. There we go. So we can make our way out here. Mm hmm. So what have we out here? Nah, uh, looks like nothing useful. We can't do anything over here. Because that bridge is up. Let's take a look over here. Yeah, same story. Okay, so there's not much just for out, not much for us out here. Uh, not until those bridges are down, at least. Um, I'll leave you all right there. I'll go take a look see down this chain and see what we got down here. Okay. So okay, so there's some Yorta doors. So that's where we want to go. There's also a big gap here. So, she's not crossing that gap. Not without some sort of crossing thing. Because there is no way that she could make that gap. I don't think, I couldn't even make that gap. Not a chance. And if I can't make that gap, then she can't make that gap. Come on, turn around. So we'll just have to find another way to get her across that gap. But, where there is a will, there is a way. Because, like I said before, the general generally the puzzles revolve around getting Yorda uh, through an area. This time it is no different. So I'll just keep climbing up these windows, which are very conveniently placed. And up, upsy daisy, and now we're on some <clears throat> some cross beams. Uh, you gotta watch out with these guys because the camera will really turn around on you a lot. And when it does that, if you're holding like a directional button, then sometimes you're gonna just like run right off. And if you look, that's like a pretty serious fall. So you're not gonna survive that. Okay, so the obvious course of action now would be to fall on this chandelier. It is apparently held in place far better than the cage that Yorda was in, so by simply landing on it, we're not going to take it down. So we'll just give it a whack. Oop, I missed. And whack. How did I miss again? Whack, there we go. And let's see what this does. Oop. Breaking the chain link. Okay, holy smokes. Whoa. Breaking. Breaking stuff. That was pretty, uh... Quite the fall. I hope we're okay. That was good, like, 15 feet it looked like. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm strong. I drink my milk. Anyway... Um, so that seems to have... Yes, come with me, Yorda. I'll grab your hand. So you are not reliable to just follow me. Um, that kind of, I guess, loosened that bridge a little bit. So basically, we can deduce that if we can take out that support right there, then that bridge will fall down over that gap, and we can have ourselves a bridge. <clears throat> which is very helpful for getting where we want to go. In fact, it's the only way to get where we want to go. So now we'll just go down this nice spiral staircase. Do, do, do. Go in here and see what we can find. All right, so what do we got for material here? We got some pots, a bunch of sticks. Yeah, I guess these are barrels. <laughs> Yeah, we can throw those barrels pretty good. They're not going to help us here. And we got the chandelier. So, we need something that's not in this room. I'm going to leave Yorda in here. If you leave Yorda for too long, shadows will come after her, so just be cautious of that. And, what is this? A bomb. 
why this balm looks just right for the job. How convenient. I'm glad that somebody left their bombs lying around. This is a big, heavy bomb. Ike was having some trouble carrying it. As be careful, if you're holding a direction while holding the bomb, you'll, like, hurl it like I did with that barrel. So just be careful. So there we go. I'm just going to place it down nicely. And then light my stick on fire. And light the bomb. And run, I go run. And watch. Boom. All right, sweet. That did it. That blew that support right out of there. Excellent. That looks perfect. That'll do the job quite nicely. All right, Yorda, we're in. We found a way. <clears throat> okay, sweet. So, yeah, puzzles. Puzzles is the name of the game. So now let's go across our little bridge we just made, and those Yorda doors will await. Oh, seriously? Oh, why don't these guys just leave me alone, man? What is their beef? Oh, they're the bird guys, too. Shit. They're coming after me, man. Yorda, let's run. I'm not fighting these guys on this bridge. That's just a losing situation. Alright, so fun fact... If you go up to a Yorda door, uh, Yorda door, that's right, boom, you guys are all suckers. Her Yorda energy will unleash and destroy them all. A very, very handy thing to know. Um, when I first played this game, I didn't realize that till like, far later in the game, and I was like, what? Are you serious? I could have just done that the whole time? Kind of annoying. Not annoying. It was annoying then. Oh my god, and there's more. Jesus, these guys are ruthless, man. They are ruthless, but I see a Yorda door over there. So you know what? That's the mission right now. The mission is to avoid these, like, frickin' brigades of shadows that are coming at me. And get to the Yorda door. Just gotta get to the Yorda door. Yorda door, Yorda door, Yorda door. Come on, we're almost there, Yorda. We're almost there. Don't get abducted. Oh my god, Yorda, you st Ugh. We were so close, man. We were so close, Yorda. Am I hitting him? Am I hitting him? Come on, on camera. Give me, give me some. Yorda, Yorda, Yorda. Okay, Yorda. Okay. I thought for sure I got knocked down there. You guys are just dicks. Oh my god, they're fast too. Oh my god, he's such an asshole. Get away from me. Okay, sweet. Woo! This area especially can get extremely hard without those with those guys. Okay, wow, Yorda just made a frickin' book get through there. She knows something I don't, apparently. Because she just, as soon as we got out there, she ran for it. Okay. Well. We did it! We made it out of the castle! Frickin' A! That's awesome. Well, hell, guys, look at this is only gonna be a three episode LP. Oh. Oh wait, what? No. No, come on, man. So, oh, Yorda, that, no, Yorda, oh my god, what is that? Jesus. Who are you? Wow, she's scary. You hurt my feelings. I'm gonna leave with those gates closed. Oh, snap. She just exploded into energy. Yeah, you okay, Yorda? That's pretty serious biz right there.
You're gonna have a bitch, lady. Just throwing that out there. I mean, even if Yorda is your daughter, like... Kind of a bitch. Anyway, so yeah, these gates are here. We can't get out of them. There is nothing we can do. Except sit on a couch and have a break. Come on, Yorda. Pop a squat. Take a load off. Okay, perfect. And then we get some nice, beautiful music. Just save over the crane. Yeah, let's save over it. Um, so yeah, actually, a large portion of that cutscene is actually uh, subtitled in the in like the runic language uh, in an initial playthrough. So that actually, you don't really find out that Yorda is her daughter. Where are you going, Yorda? Okay, yeah, she's looking at that. She knows, Yorda. You you know how to do things. You're just you just make me do them anyway. But yeah, uh, basically push these in and that is pretty much the uh, the extent of the puzzle out here if only these would actually open that they do not um, but yeah no you don't find out um, that Yorda is uh, that is like her daughter so at least not not for significantly longer uh, because her and Yorda kind of just like talk in their funny language um, so, yeah. So sorry if you were planning on playing this first playthrough, because it does give a, the, the storyline feels entirely differently without knowing that, because it's kind of like a twist at the end. But I already said it in my earlier... Oh, come on, grab it. There we go. Uh, okay, sweet. That's, oh, that's not all of them. I thought that was, I thought that was only six, but there's more. Uh, so yeah, sorry if I spoiled that for you. But I did say in the first episode that I'm doing this as a second playthrough uh, for 100% reasons. Um, and the translation of the subtitles is one of the things involved in that. Cool. Magical flames. Alright, rad. Okay, Yorda. Well, I guess we're back to... Back to square one here. We gotta find another way off this rock. Do do do. Those guys shouldn't be back. At least I hope they're not back. They're real assholes. Real big assholes. Do 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 do. Yeah, so we're not getting out that way. There's no other ways out here, so... Gotta backtrack a little. It's the only way... I wonder if bombs over here. I always kinda wondered, I guess... I don't know. There's really no use for them. At Z moment. But what was the point of this? Oh god, that was the worst backtrack ever. I feel like it was entirely unnecessary. I just wasted everybody's time, including my own. I can't help but feel that I'm just going in a big old circle. Really? Oh my god, Yorda. Yorda, 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 Yorda. Can you do nothing by yourself? On there and we'll get you back down. Oh my god, no! <laughs> This might actually work out better, because I was just going in a big friggin' circle there. So hopefully this checkpoint will actually take me back to somewhere I want to be. Where am I? Okay. Cool. Alright, well I like this. We're back here. Okay. I'm cool with this, actually. That was just a big circle I went through. There's a pretty, pretty good chance I'm just going to cut all that out. Because it was just nonsense. Complete nonsense. Not even entertaining nonsense. Just like... If I was watching that, I would probably... Stop watching it. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I'll just cut that out. And we find ourselves back here. Back here in the courtyard. 
where we cannot go out. Maybe if Yorta hadn't tripped, but we can't really blame it on her. It wasn't your fault, Yorta. Ah, uh, yes. Torches happen again. Do, do, do. Alright, Yorta. Come on. Let's see if we can go a better way this time. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I can do in this area. There's just just nothing here. The only thing here is getting out to that gate, but that gate's not doing us nothing right now. What, where am I trying to go here? Where, where am I? Oh my god, camera, you are screwing me right now. Yeah. Nope, wrong stairwell. Wrong stairwell. Do do do. Going back. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I'm pretty sure the only purpose of that side area is so that there's can be portals for those shadow dudes to suck you up into. That's really it. This. Oh, you know what? Ha. Huh. That's pretty funny. Well, it's just kind of funny because I was saying earlier how these bombs have no, like, purpose, but really they have an immediate purpose, which is to blow this hole open. That was a big derp right there, eh? Do -do -do -do. Come on, Yorda. Yorda, I don't want you so close to that explosion. It's not good for your health. There we go. Select this bomb up and clear ourselves a path. Kablam! There we go. The uh, lighting of sticks in this game somewhat reminds me of um, Deku sticks from like a Ocarina of Time. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Secondary courtyard. I can't help but feel like there's going to be shadows coming after me, though. Seems like that kind of situation. Whoa, couch! Nearly missed this guy. You know, this couch might be a good place. Yorta, come on. This couch might be a good place to call it an episode. Just because that whole silly roundabout thing I just did. Eh, let's see if I need a slot. Is it going to count that in my time? I hope not. <laughs> Probably is. Let's find out. Yeah. It definitely counted that in my time. Whatever. I'm not going for trophies in this run through. Okay. Well, we're going to end here, sitting on this nice couch in this graveyard. Um, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Let's Play Echo, guys. There's a good chance I'm going to cut out that roundabout, but if you do end up watching it for whatever reason, I do apologize. My mind, I don't know where my mind was, man. My mind was just in the clouds. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope to catch you next time on Let's Play Ico Episode 4. We'll explore further into this graveyard and see if we can't figure out another way out of this castle because we were severely blockaded by that, by Yorda's mom. Yorda's mom is a bitch. Alright. Well, thanks guys, and have a good night.